What's up guys, Ear That Trucker here, back with another video. And today I wanted to talk about something that is essential for all truckers out there. Especially those of us that spend any length of time out on the road, you know, a few days, you know, for a few months or anything longer than that. And that is food. Now, especially the preservation of the food. Now, a lot of you guys may know that eating out on the road can be very expensive. You know, if you're stopping and eating at truck stops and then you're faced with trying to find grocery stores along the way that can accommodate your truck parking or finding a place to park and then, you know, finding a ride share to get you to a store and then back to your truck, it can be a big hassle. So what I like to do is prepare my own food or have it prepared for me by Mrs. Erudite. Shout out to you. But uh, once you do that, you know, you have to have a way of keeping that food fresh because I stay out on the road anywhere from one to three weeks. You know, the longest I've been out on the road before I've gone home is a, a month. So you have to have a, a proper way of accommodating the food if you are choosing to uh, bring your own stuff from home, which is what I recommend you do if you want to save money. It's much cheaper to prepare your own meals and then pack them and bring them out on the road with you versus having to, you know, have to buy stuff at miscellaneous truck stops. And also, and more importantly, it's a lot healthier to prepare your own food. So one thing that I do, and I say it has been a, a key to my success in keeping my money in my pocket where it needs to be and keeping my stomach full and keeping my mind stress-free worrying about where I'm gonna eat the next day you know for my breakfast lunch or dinner is uh, having my own source of refrigeration in the truck and when I first started I had one of those you know small square you know little college dorm type refrigerators and uh, that did not work out very well for me you know for one the capacity was very low and uh, you know it, it just didn't tend to keep the food items that I had in there as cold as I wanted them to be sometimes you know some things might go bad after a few days like if I have like milk or uh, any kind of like uh, pre-cooked food that I would need to reheat or something like that. If it was in there for too long without being used, you know, I might lose it. And uh, that cost me money and I don't like that one bit. So I decided to do some research to find an upgrade for myself and that would uh, fit my needs better. And I want to show you guys the item that I have been using for the last uh, two years, really. Uh, shortly after I started working with this company, I had found this item and it has been working for me like a dream, like ever since. So let me go ahead and show you guys what I have. And here we are guys. This is the cooler that I use. It's called the Alpi Cool. As you can see the name right there and right there. Uh, the specific model that I have is the T60 version. That is T as in Thomas. And uh, this thing is fantastic like I said I've been using it for the last two years uh, it has a whole lot of perks this thing is really nice and it has been running flawlessly for me the entire time that I've had this thing and uh, I'll show you guys a few things but I'll give you the, the specs of it if you uh, are interested in uh, the measurements but I mean as you can see uh, it fits nicely right behind my passenger seat here between the passenger seat and my bunk uh, no struggle to get it in here. Uh, this thing is really light to move around um, when it's empty. But you can fit a whole lot of stuff in here. Uh, the, the measurements of the cooler are 21.6 inches tall, 28.5 inches long, so from side to side there, and 14.2 uh, inches wide. So there we go. And uh, this thing is awesome. It fits a ton of food. You know, like I was saying, I stay out on the road, you know, anywhere from one week to a month. You know, if I was really trying to be out there on the road hustling, 
getting the money. And uh, this thing can comfortably accommodate at a minimum three weeks worth of food. You know, uh, that the results may vary for you guys because I don't know how you guys might pack, you know, or because like depends on like, you know, whatever it is you're putting in here, of course. But I comfortably can, you know, sustain myself off of three for three weeks uh, of food with what I've got in here as far as um, refrigerated items. Of course, I've got some dry goods, some canned items that don't have to be refrigerated, so we don't count that, but this thing is awesome. And I will give you guys a peek inside and uh, tell you about the specs as far as uh, what it can do. Let me zoom in here for you guys a little bit. As you can see, this thing has a electronic uh, thermostat that you can control. So I can, you know, increase the temperature or decrease it. Right now I have it set for, I believe, 19 degrees, but it's set at 22. So the, the temperature can actually fluctuate, you know, a, a couple degrees above or below what you actually have it set at. So it says that it's 22 degrees in there right now, and I have it set for 18. So there's a little bit of a fluctuation. That will vary based off of the... Uh, what's the word i'm looking for it'll vary base basically based off of the uh the temperature that you have the cooler set in so it's it's warm outside right now i think it's like you know 80 something possibly close to 90 outside i don't have the ac running in the truck and i have my windows down with the fan on so it, it's it's warm but not hot in here so this i mean that's doing really well 22 degrees with it being you know the surrounding temperature being close to like 80 80 or 90 on the outside of the truck <laughs> it's definitely not that hot in here with me sitting but uh yeah it does that and uh this thing runs off of a power cord that's uh it's down here you can't see it uh from the camera view but i just have it plugged up to a wall outlet in the truck and it runs just fine without the truck running it's not going to drain your battery and uh make you have an issue with your your truck not being able to start i mean that's one way of powering it uh, you can do it with a direct plug, and it also comes with another plug. This one right here, which you can plug into the cigarette lighter of your truck. And let's go ahead and get a peek at what's inside. Here are some of the items that I have. I mean, I've been out on the road. Uh, for about a week right now. I'm only staying out for two weeks at this point in time So I didn't have this thing filled to the brim like I would if I were staying out for a longer period of time But I mean really this you see how spacious it is in here. I mean with all the little items That I have in here, you know, there's like four Tupperware sitting here. You see the carton of milk, you know some jars, you know, there's a lot in here You know, I have like two bags of these burritos there's only a couple of them in there now but there's two full bags in there you know the protein shake shaker bottle i mean there's a lot of stuff in here i mean i'll clear out one end maybe show you guys just how deep this thing is i mean it fits so much i mean this this size i have let me see down there how far that goes and then this is like a little elevated shelf right here that I put items and uh, the awesome thing about this is that you can set that thermostat that I was showing you guys to dual zones so I have it set for the entire cooler to be the same temperature but if I change the settings on here and made it dual zone it will make half of the cooler one temperature and the other half a separate temperature based off of what i set it over here it'll have two numbers for the temperature instead of just the one that you guys saw and also this uh, cooler comes with a divider and two separate uh metal metal racks that are in the shape of the inside of the cooler but there's two of them i don't have them in here since i have it set for one temperature but you can separate your food items. Say like you wanna have one side be your freezer and the other side be your refrigerated goods. You could put all your freezer items into the one metal pocket on one side and all the non-frozen items over here. And 
that is handy. I've never used it for that. Uh, well, after I initially tested it out, I found that for me and my needs, you know, having the entire cooler set down to a low temperature like I do right now, and then just having all the food items consolidated together in one temperature is awesome for food preservation. Like I said, this I have my frozen goods on this side because uh, in my experience, even though this entire cooler is the same temperature right now, that 22 degrees that you guys saw, the left-hand side tends to get colder. And uh, actually, you might not be able to see it from here, but on this left-hand side, there's frost all around the front side and rear edge of this cooler here. And there's no frost over here. So I think that the air compressor for the machine or for the, the cooler is on this side somewhere because this side is noticeably colder even though the entire cooler is set for the same temperature. So that's just for you guys to keep in mind if you all end up getting this awesome product for yourselves because like I said, I don't have anything negative to say about this thing. It has worked flawlessly for me for the entire two years that I've owned it. And uh, you know, I got this thing and I never looked back. I mean, it has helped me to save so much money because as I said, you know, I have food that's pre-made for me at home by Mrs. Erudite. <laughs> I can't help you guys out with that part. You're gonna have to find your own, <laughs> your own lieutenant that's gonna help and cook food for you. But I can aim you in the right direction of getting a cooler like this one to utilize to help preserve your food and make it so that you don't have to spend so much money when you're out here on the road trying to feed yourself and you can provide yourself with healthier food items. Now this cooler, as I said, is the T60 model. This is the biggest cooler that you can get from that brand. I do believe that they have a couple of sizes beneath this one that are smaller. So think about it in terms of small, medium, large. This is the large version. So there's a couple underneath this that could suit your needs if you don't need to have as much storage as I do. But like I said, this works out perfect for my needs with me staying out on the road for extended periods of time you know one week up to four weeks so you know it this thing is amazing in my opinion i love it and uh aside from it being a great cooler a great source of refrigeration it's also a charger like it has a usb charging port as you can see right here right below the temperature control on the gauges so I mean I've never used it for that but you could charge your phone or any other electronic device with the USB port you know if, if you ever needed it so it's there and it also has handles you can't see them right here but there's a handle right here and there's also a handle on the opposite end that you can use when you're trying to transport it and as you can see it has wheels on this side and the opposite so you could tilt it up on the handle and drag it or roll it rather to where it needs to go when you're trying to get it somewhere if you need to move it and also on top of that you know this thing doubles as a really awesome seat <laughs> and i'll show you guys when i'm using this thing say i'm here and uh, it's the end of the day and I am doing some paperwork uh, for some deliveries that I've had. I could sit on the cooler, just like a chair. I mean, it's, it's placed in a good spot, but I can sit here just like a chair and you know, I can pull out the little drawer that I got here. It comes from the shelf stand and you know, I can do my paperwork sitting right here if I want to. Not an intended intended use of the cooler, but it works. This thing is amazing. It's awesome. I love it. It's easy to clean. Uh, when you turn it off, like I, I had this thing running all week when I'm in the truck. Like if I'm in the truck, this thing, this power stays on. But when I go home, I just turn off the inverter in the truck and it automatically turns off the power to the cooler. So it's not running, sucking any power when I'm not actually in the truck using it. So, I mean, it's amazing for that. And also the uh, 
the compressor in it as far as noise it doesn't make a whole lot of uh noise anything that would disturb you i mean i know it never keeps me from sleeping so i the best way for me to describe it is like a very a very faint humming just like a like a like you can barely hear it at all like i have a, a fan running next to me right now i can't hear it at all like when the truck's running you can't hear it at all like if there's like no other sound in the truck at all like you're sleeping at night or you're trying to get ready to go for go to bed like you'll hear just the faintest little whisper of the fan inside the cooler running and it's actually i find it kind of uh kind of a uh, melodic actually you know it's not an annoying sound you know it's it's really really faint so if for any of you guys out there that are light sleepers i don't think this thing will uh stop you from utilizing the cooler and getting your rest at the same time but uh yeah i definitely say that this cooler is an essential for any trucker out there that is concerned with refrigeration food storage and keeping your money in your pocket it's definitely in my top 10 list of items that a trucker should have on the road with them and i put this item in my amazon store so if you guys check out the link in the description you can go ahead and find it yourself and uh, you'll be able to see the smaller versions of it as well if you don't need to have as much food on deck as i do but uh yeah you guys should definitely look into getting it and uh i have some other items that i think will be essentials for truckers out there that i have and that have been leading me or helping me get to the success that I've been working towards, making my job a lot easier, faster and more efficient. And I'll make a video for those items. Uh, look out for that in the future. But until the next video, guys, here at I Trucker Out, keep your food fresh.